welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be talking to you guys about what i actually used in my hospital bag i told you guys i was going to make this video when i showed you guys what i was packing and taking to the hospital so i'm finally sitting down to do this my son is two months old almost he'll be eight weeks at the end of this week so it's taken me a little bit to get to this video but we're finally here better late than never so he's right here with me so if you guys hear him cooing in the background um it's because he's wide awake right now so he might make an appearance throughout the video just in case he doesn't let me talk like i said my son is almost eight weeks old and i still haven't unpacked my hospital bag because i wanted to make sure that i got around to making this video so i like i said haven't unpacked it everything is still in there but i'm gonna start off with the things that i wish i would have taken to the hospital it actually got really 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 cold i had the chills like i was shaking it was just really bad uh, so I wish I would have had my own blanket just to warm me up even in the middle of the night like after he was born I wish I would have had an, that extra blanket one of the nights in the hospital I wasn't able to sleep because of how cold I was and the temperature wasn't even cold in my room I was just just cold so I wish I would have taken my own blanket I also you know I kind of wish I would have taken my own pillow because the pillows in the hospital weren't very comfortable and I wish I would have taken my own pillow, not for myself, I can sleep with anything, but for my husband. I wish I would have taken an extra blanket and pillow for him. We depended a little bit too much on the hospital when it came to that, so he was um, very uncomfortable. He didn't complain, but I can tell that he was uncomfortable. So we were in the hospital for three nights, so I wish he would have been a little bit more comfortable. I also wish I would have packed a longer cord for my phone, like a charging cord. Like a charging cable cord because I was able to reach I was able to plug in my phone like behind me but it was kind of hard to reach over to be able to look at my phone while I was waiting uh, you know to go into labor so I wish I would have packed like a long cable for my phone to be able to charge my phone so this is the bag that I took it's just a big overnight bag that I got at Target and it was pretty inexpensive it did exactly what I needed for it to do and one thing I didn't talk about in the first video about you know my hospital bag video was a tumbler I actually just decided to pack a, tum a tumbler in the middle of the day like I just decided oh maybe I should just add one in there and it was an insulated one so my husband was able to add ice and just have water there for him to go get because you do get a water bottle when you're in the hospital so you can hydrate but my husband didn't get one so if anything he was able to drink out of that tumbler and stay hydrated as well so make sure you pack a water bottle and then also make sure you pack snacks i didn't pack snacks i packed like maybe one or two protein bars and that was it and you want to be able to pack snacks so just in case you're there in the middle of the night and there's no vending machines or something you know you don't want to be going in and out of the hospital in the middle of the night or whoever's there with you so so i'm going to get into what's in the bag and tell you what i used and didn't use so i packed two nursing bras i did not use these i was wearing a nursing bra when i got to the hospital and i took it off got in my gown and just didn't wear it until maybe day two or three that i was in the hospital so i didn't really find a use for these nursing bras because my milk didn't come in until in like what Tuesday I think yeah I gave birth Friday my my milk came in Tuesday so I didn't I wasn't leaking so I didn't use the breast pads that I packed either and I didn't necessarily find a need for this when I had to nurse um, I, speaking of what I wore to the hospital when I went into labor or when I went in to get induced all I wore was a maxi dress some sandals and that was it so something that was very easy to get in and out of and just do what I had to do when I got to the hospital here is my toiletry bag but i'm going to talk about this separately because i'm going to talk about everything that was in there but i packed two robes these are from pink blush maternity i think one of them still has the tag on it i've used i only used it a few i've only used it a few times and i haven't taken off the tag but um i wore this one this one is a really pretty pink one that's really long so it was nice for me to be able to to wear this when I went for a walk after I gave birth and you know that way you're not in the room the entire time too so this one was nice to be able to go out and you know walk around and not just be in your gown or have like you know like a shorter robe and speaking of shorter robe I had this one right here which I specifically bought to be able to take pictures 
in the hospital and just to look a little bit more put together and I love this one I had a boy so I really like the blue and the pink and everything so it's really feminine this one's a little bit shorter but I really like the detail uh, lace that it has here so again these are from um, pink blush maternity I didn't pack my own gown because I ended up using the one from the hospital and I I didn't mind it to be honest with you I know people pack their own gown and I think it's so cute it looks so cute when the mom has a girl and they have like matching outfits I didn't do that this time around I just didn't feel the need to I'm okay with just wearing the gown that's just my preference but um, I think it looks so cute when people do that. And I, you know what? Maybe if I had a girl, I would probably do that. I would get like the matching robe and the matching outfit and just, just, I think it's so cute. <laughs> I packed a pair of socks and I packed the ones that have the little rubbery things on the bottom. That way I'm able to walk around and, you know, not be like slipping and stuff. So, and like I said, I did get really cold. So these kept me warm the entire time that I was there. I packed a few magazines. And I honestly didn't read them, not because I didn't have time, because I had plenty of time since I was induced. I just didn't read them because I had downloaded stuff on my phone to watch. And I was just watching, you know, Netflix and YouTube the entire time. And then once I gave birth, the World Cup started. So we were watching the World Cup the entire time. So I honestly didn't have a chance to read these because uh, I was so, you know, distracted. But... I'd suggest that you take a book, especially if you're being, you know, induced or, you know, a Kindle or a, an ebook reader, however it is that you like to read your books. I also packed these slippers right here. These are from Steve Madden. These are just my house slippers, the ones that I wear at home. And I wore these, uh, or I wore these around the hospital when I went for a walk and it was just nice to not have to walk around barefoot too. Oh, let me show you because I put these in here, but these are the pads that the hospital gave me. See how huge they are? I packed some just in case I needed them at home. I didn't use them when I got home because I ended up getting Depends. Depends were a lifesaver after I gave birth, when I got home, because you're bleeding, you know, and the things that are going on down there, it's just really nice to be able to have those Depends. I also didn't pack any underwear for labor because I was wearing the mesh underwear that they give you at the hospital. So I was just fine with these, but I know a lot of people like to pack postpartum underwear, but these are the ones that they give you in the hospital. Do you want to join us? Hmm? Do you want to be a part of this? Oh! <laughs> what do you have to say about that, huh? So let me see what else I packed. Um, I packed a bar of soap and I definitely did use this, especially when I took a shower the next day. I ended up taking a shower, let's see, I was admitted on Thursday, I gave birth Friday and I took a shower on Saturday morning. I just felt so much better after taking that shower, so I highly recommend that you take your own toiletries. My hospital didn't provide them, well I don't know if it's, it's not that they didn't provide them, but I didn't ask for them since I had my own. So definitely take your own just in case they don't provide them and it's just nice to kind of use your own things especially you know after you've given birth and you're all you know disgusting and stuff so okay, so now i'm gonna go through my toiletry bag and i packed a contact solution bottle of course i needed this i wear contacts so this was definitely a necessity i packed a wet brush and i definitely got some use of this when i took a shower so if you guys didn't know i'm a flight attendant so a lot of the stuff that's in here um, there are things that I pack on my layovers whenever I go on my work trips. So a lot of the stuff I already had I didn't really need to buy. But I took some deodorant. This is the Native deodorant, paraben-free, aluminum-free. I have partnered up with them before. This is not sponsored by any means, but I do use their deodorant on a daily basis ever since I moved over to this brand. That's all I use. It's paraben-free and aluminum-free, so it's kind of nice to have the baby close to you without any of those, you know, bad chemicals that deodorant usually has. Then I packed a razor blade did not use this razor whatsoever i didn't even think about it a toothbrush of course you need a toothbrush i also took an extra one for my husband and he used that one as well because he did forget his toothbrush when we went to the hospital <laughs> i packed an extra pair of glasses because i didn't want to forget my con my contacts um my contact case contact solution and an extra pair of glasses so i packed one in there just in case 
if you watched my video you know i said just in case like 50 times and some of you guys were joking around saying oh we should make this a drinking game how many times did she say just in case i am a just in case girl so i did pack a lot of stuff just in case <laughs> I packed my own shampoo, which is nice to have my own shampoo. Like I said with the bar soap, it's just nice to have your own toiletries. I packed some dry shampoo. Didn't even touch it. I packed some leave-in conditioner and some wake spray. And I did get a use of these because I have really frizzy hair. So if I don't put any product on my hair after I take a shower, my hair is just going to be super frizzy and it doesn't look cute so i did use this just because like i said i have frizzy hair so it was really easy to just put put on really quick and then just go on with my day then i packed some toothpaste and mouthwash and of course i used this because it was you know a necessity and then i packed this portable charger and i didn't use it because i forgot that i had it but i would have definitely used it had i remembered that i had it in my bag the last two things in there are these hair bands. Um, I didn't use them not because I didn't, you know, want to or whatever, but I had them in there just in case. And then I had this Earth Mama herbal spray for your area, and I did use it. I haven't used it since I came home from the hospital, so I did use it while I was in the hospital. But that's only because I didn't really feel the need for it. It did do. I mean, I can see where they're coming from when it comes to this, but I personally didn't find the need for it. But, I mean, it doesn't hurt to have. It, it is a little bit pricey, though. I think it was like $13 or $14 at Bye Bye Baby. But, I mean, it's just to help with your area down there because you are pretty sore and you're hurting. So That is it for my hospital bag video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you wish you would have packed in your hospital bag or if you just absolutely took everything you needed when you went to the hospital. So I think this little one needs my attention and my husband's about to come home soon. I've been filming all day long. This is the third video I film. So I have to kind of film whenever I can. And I want to thank you guys so much for giving me the opportunity to be able to make these videos. They honestly keep me so motivated and they give me, you know, just... I, they make me happy. I honestly feel really happy to be able to do this. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for your support. Make sure you like this video and make sure you guys are following me over on social media as well on Instagram. I update you guys there pretty often. I have lots of videos coming up while I'm on maternity leave and when I go on matern off maternity leave and go back to work, you guys will see a lot of flight attendant and mommy videos as well. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Say bye. Say bye. No. Why do you look like daddy? Look like me. Look like me. Please, please. Am I, am I?